Hello, Georgie B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using three stamp sets. Um, this one. Hand penned petals, and I've used that image there. Um, tasteful touches is just for a die. These are the dies that go with tasteful touches and I need that for the sentiment. And then elegantly said, <coughs> sorry about that, is wishing you a wonderful birthday, which is that sentiment. Um, I have already stamped and cut out the flower, which is there, and two sets of leaves, which are here. They've all got to be coloured in, but I need one more set of leaves. And we've also got the sentiment to stamp. So I've got some scrap paper ready for that. I have got a card base of 8 and a quarter by 5 and 7 eighths, scored at 4 and 1 eighth, folded in half. I have two pieces of white cardstock, one for the inside and one for the outside. And I have embossed this in an embossing folder that I found in the bottom of my box, still in its packet, never used. The scattered sequence, I think it was called. I was stamping up one, but it's an old one because it was in a green packet. So I thought I'd use that. They look like sequins. I was actually looking for a, my spotted embossing folder and couldn't find it and found that instead. So I thought, oh, I'll use that one. So that's what I did. And then the rest we just stamp. So we need to stamp, show you how I did these leaves. I actually just use this bit of this stamp and cut them out by hand. So I've got my stamp, I've got my scrap, and all I'm going to do is ink the leaf part. Let's make sure I get all three leaves and we're just going to stamp that there. Like that. Clean it off. And pop it back in the box. Right, need to colour these in. I'll colour it in before I cut it out. So this is mainly a colouring card. <laughs> so, we have got... Oh, I don't want to use that. Let's get my scrap of paper up again. I'm trying to keep this one clean. Because I've got a few cards to make today. So let's do the flower. No, let's do all these leaves first. So the leaves, I use dark soft sea foam and dark soft, soft succulents. So, colour all the leaves in. I don't work that way. In soft succulent. No soft sea foam. I think it is easier to colour them in before you cut them out. Oh, 
quite a lot of these really. Right, this one as well. top half of it buried and we've got these three this one and these two that's them done and then with this soft succulent I just did a bit on the bottom you know just to highlight it a little bit nothing major of look more real because leaves have many colours in them they're not just a flat colour right that's the leaves done push them to the side so we don't lose them. Right, the flowers. I have got here a dark Rococo rose and a pink. So we're going to colour in the flowers but we're not going to do round the top, all the way to the top. just going to don't want it too even either just fill it in the bottom of the flower get our pink and we colour in the rest of the flower trying to blend in as much as you can of the top Me. 
suppose you could use um, petal pink for this. Is it petal pink we've got? I think so. This is, I've re-inked this, this is Blushing Bride. dark again I am just going to go around the bottom edge of each flower and just add another coat and the same around the middle of this And then we need a, a yellow. So I've got dark daffodil delight just for the sense of this flower. Hiding up, putting my pens away. Can't remember where they come from. Right, I've got to cut this out, which is quite easy. Now, when I cut this out, I'm leaving a tail so that I'll have something to glue in between like this. Now I don't lose a lot of the leaf because this little bit I can glue on there or on this one in this case. The two leaves cut out. Don't need this rubbish. But what we do need to do is the sentiment next. So I've got my Versafine ink, my sentiment stamp. We're going to stamp that right in the middle. Well, funny thing, it's upside down. Oh, it's not. And with our die, we're going to cut this out. So I need our plates. Don't need that. so it's straight in there
trying to get it straight and tape it down bring in my sidekick And then we have our sentiment. Right. Put them back, put this away, and then put this back in here so I don't lose it. Now we can put our car together. So, glue our embossed part down. What do I do inside? Oh, I haven't done the inside there. So, let's remedy that. And we'll put our normal message in these. Seems as it is a birthday card. I'm trying to sit my stamps on my wet cloth so I can clean them. Right, put one of these inside. Not already done card. inside the new card. Right, now we can concentrate on getting these done. Right, this and the flower are going up on dimensionals. So we're going to glue that flower on there. Like that. And then we're going to put dimensionals all over these. Never had dimensionals from Stampin' Up that did this before. Weird. Right. Just. One more. That should do. Take all the backs off. Right, I'm going to cut this right in the middle. And 
making sure our sentiment's straight. Now the leaves we are actually going to glue in. So we need to glue the bottom of the leaf and attach it to there. And then we just glue the back in and we'll place that Oh, I'll put that too close to the edge up there. Do the same again with these ones. And this one's going to go up here. This one is going to go in here. Right, all we need is some gems. Right, what I did, I got some pearls. I'll pick the pearls, these pearls. Coloured them in with the dark cocoa rose. So we just need to colour three in. There's a great way of doing this if you've not got um, stamping up coloured gems. Just colour in some pearls. And with this we just pop three on our card. I'll put it there. one uh, and that is our card for today I think it's quite pretty like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos i upload which is usually a monday wednesday and friday all i can say is thanks for visiting and i hope to see you again soon